Dual Lock. It's a system you may or may not be aware of. It's produced by Hymer, and I'm delighted to say Dean is joining me today, and you'll be talking to me all, all the way through it, aren't you? Absolutely. Let's get started. So, as we probably know, um, there's many systems on the market, many replaceable head systems. Hymer have entered this market, and we've liked to think that we've um, enhanced those systems. We make it a three-point contact, so we have a face and taper contact here. We also have a little journal at the back that when engaged, fits into the little diameter here. This journal fits into it and it becomes a press fit. In order to tighten it, up, tighten it up, we have to use a torque wrench that has different settings for the different diameters. That gives us maximum rigidity on it and it's a it becomes a three-point contact. So the third contact, you know, face and taper, and you add, you're now adding a third contact. How much better is three than two? Oh, it just it, it, it well, it's much more because generally you've only got your contact here, and that's where your, your sort of bending moment is. You're extending that out to here. Okay, so any forces that spread across the whole length Absolutely. rather than just at the top, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, and in terms of the adjustable heads, what what do you offer? Oh, we do we do very various. We do multi flutes. We do the standard four flutes. We do high feed cutters, we do ball nose cutters, we do the aluminium cutters, we do everything that everything that we do in the standard range of solid carbide cutters, mm -hmm. we replicate that in our okay. dual lock range. And, the, and these are obviously blanks, so presumably you sell the blanks as well? Yes. Sometimes we'll get customers um, who want you know special port tools, special diameters, um, different flutes, they want to maybe put the coatings on themselves, maybe they want to use them for, for aerospace. We can we can provide blanks up to forty to fifty mil diameter blanks. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we have done for a customer, or recently, or a customer did, the customer wanted some special drills, um, because he had a he had a job that had a long nozzle on it and he needed to get past it. He was using solid carbide long series. It was costing him a fortune, and every time he did it, he had to preset. His idea was to take the Heimer blanks take them away, send them to a grinder. It's only going through a two and a half mil flange. So what he had to do, what he did then was just put it into one of our longer extensions. So we do the extensions. All he has to do now on the machine is as it's, as the tool life has gone, he needs to just retract, take out the tool, put it back in, press the button, start again. It's just that. I'm Absolutely. interested on, on this three point location again. What's the advantage? Is it run out, rigidity, clamping force maybe? It's all of it. It's all of it. It's certainly, certainly in terms of rigidity and balance and run out. Um, it, it just it extends the the uh, the clamping force within the tool. Also, we have a fully ground trapezoidal thread, which again that enhances mm -hmm. all that all that clamping force within there. Is this one of your better selling products? Absolutely, it's becoming more and more into the market. What we have done as well, and we've Heimer are generally known really as a as a milling company. Everything that we do is is tool holders. They fit mm -hmm. onto milling machines. What we have looked at lately is the ER collet system into driven tooling, both on fixed head and sliding head machines. Again, when you look at a standard ER collet, when you've got your tool in, you've got that kind of fish mm -hmm. tail in at the back. When you put that in, that collet never comes out. All you're doing is changing the head, but you've only got you've got that rigidity within it. Also on a sliding head machine, when you look at when you reset a tool. You've got that door open. Everybody's mm. making thousands and thousands. Sure. You know, the, the idea of sliding heads, obviously, is to make thousands of components. The longer you've got that door open, the more heat's coming out of the machine, the sizes are changing. The quicker you can change that tool, the, the better, mm -hmm. because then you're changing the tool, you're pressing the button, you're starting again. So, so your system w would be quicker then? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, well, no, it's a, it's a good system, and I hope you've learned a bit more at home, and thank you for watching.